one. Hi, it's Mrs. Martin here. Me and Miss Skit will be going through this video with you now to show you what your children will be learning throughout the spring term. If you have any questions following this video, don't forget we have an open door policy here at school. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come and ask them. We are going to be looking at reading and writing now. Here at Wren's Nest, we follow the Read Write Inc program. Um, your child will complete phonics every day and they will have a phonics lesson in the morning. There will be six phonics groups and we will also do short bursts of phonics throughout the day with fun Fred games. This is an example of a flashback question. We ask the, the children to build on their prior knowledge. Um, for example, um, we'd ask the, we could ask the children, can you remember what sounds we learnt about last half term? Following on from this question, I would expect all the children to be able to recall what sounds they had learnt in their group during the last half term. For example, the Bluebridge group, I would be expecting them to be able to recall sounds from mmm all the way through to shh. Here's another example of a flashback. Um, so I could also ask the children, what sounds can you hear in cat? Following on from this, I would expect the children to say k, at, cat, as we've been doing lots of lovely Fred Talk and Fred games. During this term, your child will continue to practice and build on their reading skills. If your child is in the grapes or the strawberries group, they will continue to practice with uh, Fred Talk and Fred games. For example, um, they, you, I would say d i g, and then their term would be they say d i g dig, and we do that with lots of different um, words. And they can also have a go at playing Fred goes on holiday, Fred goes in the fridge, which they really enjoy. Um, if your child is in the apples or the blueberries group, they're going to be working on a magnet tray. So the children have um, word, like letters, the sounds that they've learnt. And um, for example, Mrs Edwards might say, we're going to make m at mat. And they'll go through it, they'll use the sound cards and then they'll have a go at making m at oh. And then they have to point and sweep, so m at mat, m at mat. So I would put it down and expect them to be able to do it back. And then if your child is in the banana group, they will be having a go at green word cards, becoming confident with reading words and getting quite speedy at their reading. So I would ask them if there's any special friends. They'd say, or oh, yes, if there was a special friend, for example, shh. And then they would have a go at reading the word. So they would say, mm, at, d. And then I'd push it forward and they'd say, mad. And then we'd carry on. So they would say, at. And then when I bring it forward, they would say, at. So they'd blend the word together. The um, cherries group, they will be continuing to become quite fluent and quite quick at reading the green word cards. And then we will be progressing onto a ditty sheet. So that looks something like this. They will work in pairs to have a lolly stick and they will have a go at saying the sounds that is needed to read the sentences, have a go at the green words, which we'll, we'll, we'll do on the carpet first, and then we'll have a go at reading them on the sheet. And then they will have a go at working as partner one and partner two. So partner one will hold and partner two will read and then they'll swap and then they'll have a go at reading again. We have, uh, we talk about a sentence, uh, a question that we've just read about, to see if they've got that comprehension. And then they have a go at holding a sentence. So they hold that sentence in their head. For example, put a cat in a big hat. We'd work through it, pinch the letters and the sounds one at a time. And then they would have a go at holding and writing a sentence in their phonics books. In reception, we do maths every day. We have five number groups and we follow the Mastery in Maths and White Rose Maths programmes. So now this is an example of a flashback question. I ask these questions because we want to build on prior learning. One example of a flashback question I could ask is how many tens and ones in the number seven? 
from following on from that question, um, I would expect the children to be able to tell me that there are no tens and seven ones. Another example of a flashback question I could ask is, uh, can you represent the number four using Numicon? I would expect the children to be able to do this and to be able to find different ways of representing number four. This is because um, it, during last term, uh, we have been exploring all of the numbers from zero to 10 in detail and representing them, including subitizing, um, making them on a dice, Numicon, number fans, tens frames, um, and lots of other practical hands-on resources. If your child is with Miss Edwards for number, uh, they will be continuing to look at numbers to 10 and have a go at recording some facts using hands-on practical activities. If your child is in Mrs Wood's group or Miss Skip's group, they will also be exploring to 10, but in more depth using different activities to support this, such as uh, representing their number on a 10 frame, they could use um, double sided counters for this. They will be looking at representing them the number on a dice. They could also be using the whole part, whole model to explore the ways that the number is made up and the different di two, two ways that you can make one number. And they will also be having a go at identif identifying it on a 100 square. By doing this, they're looking at different ways of subitizing and representing the number. They'll be looking at representation using their fingers, Numicon or a number fan. If your child is in Mrs Greybank's group or my group, we will be exploring numbers from 11 to 20, again in depth using these resources, but we'll also be starting to look into addition and for my group, we'll be starting to look into subtraction. In, curriculum, in our curriculum sessions this term, we will be becoming geographers and scientists. In previous sessions, we have also become historians. This term, we are going to be looking at winter and cold places. If you have a look at the next slide, we use our schema maps to help support our children's learning and progression in their learning. We have, I have circled on the schema map the areas that we will be looking at. Now I'm going to be showing you an example of a flashback question that we can use in our curriculum sessions. So for example, I could ask what happens to our weather and the environment in the autumn? I would expect the children to be able to tell me that the weather gets colder and we see changes in our environment, such as leaves falling off the trees or the leaves changing colour. Following on from their answer, because we know that they are able to build on their prior learning, we are now going to be looking at the changes in winter and cold places in comparison to the weather in the autumn. We will also be exploring um, festivals such as Chinese New Year and um, Pancake Day. Thank you for um, watching our video today all about our spring curriculum update. Um, don't forget we have an open door policy so if you have any more questions um, or you just want to have a chat with us feel free. Um, me and Mrs Martin or um, Mrs Greybanks or Miss Edwards will uh, try our best to answer all of your questions. Also, don't forget, you can keep up to date and in touch with us through the website, through uh, the school WhatsApp and also through email. Thank you.